Good Tuesday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of what's going on with the forecast. We've got a lot of activity in the tropics and going to be expecting even more as we go into around early parts of September. Forecast has changed, especially if you are heading towards Florida in the next several days. The Labor Day holiday is coming up pretty soon, and we will be looking again for a lot of people hitting the roadways, but a new forecast is not looking good for Florida in the next couple of days. Mid-South, Gulf of Mexico, so far so good on that, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your locations and your weather reports into the comments section below, and we'll talk a little bit more about what everybody's seeing out there and what's happening in the Mid-South area coming up in just a little bit, and we'll have the full edition, the evening edition of Weather overtime coming up about 8 o'clock on the News Channel 3 Facebook page if you'd like to know more about that. And again, all you have to do to keep track of what's going on, again, is to follow all the social media websites that we're on, and we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the next several days, weeks, and months, and everything else. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on what's going on out there. Let's get started again with just a peek at the forecast. Could be an isolated shower or a thunderstorm out there throughout the rest of the evening, but beyond that, we're going to be changing the forecast things are going to be looking a lot drier as we go throughout the next several days. Humidity is still going to be around for tonight, no question about that. Winds out of the northwest, though, that's going to help to kind of dry things out by just a little bit, and we'll continue to monitor for any changes in that forecast, but just not happening right now. Forecast, again, held pretty true for today. Upper 80s, just below average for this time of the year. Nowhere close to the record high of 105, which was last set back in World War II, and the record low as well, 58, well, just after World War II anyway. 71 degrees for our low temperature. That was spot on for today. 17 inches ahead for the year. When it comes to rainfall, we have got a very decent surplus out there for right now. Oxford, Mississippi, University of Ole Miss, the Ole Miss campus, looking pretty quiet. A lot of business around the areas around the Student Union, 84 degrees with a heat index of 88 degrees. Looks pretty ominous, but it's not. It's just cloud cover around much of the Mid-South. So Rhodes College in central Memphis looks a lot cloudier for right now, looking back to the northwest. Same thing for the square at Collierville. Plenty of cloud cover out there for right now, but otherwise decently quiet. A lot of traffic right now. That's actually our Hilton East Memphis camera uh, around the area of I-240 or I-40 in Poplar around the area of I-40 in Witten at this time. Not the West Memphis camera there, but traffic moving along in West Memphis. It's about 83 degrees and traffic improving a little bit as we go past the peak of rush hour. Outbound traffic was backed up from I-40. 55 and Goodman Road. So for right now, we're looking again at some pretty quiet conditions out there. Storms moving away from us on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Here in the Mid-South, we have a few sprinkles trying to show up, but outside of a raindrop on your windshield or two, we're just not really picking up too much of anything out there for right now. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3 back in the lower to mid 80s. That doesn't sound too bad until you add that humidity in there. So it is, again, very much on the very warm and uncomfortable side throughout much of the Mid-South. Welcome to everybody showing up for, again, the comments section today. Kevin Dunn, welcome to the show. Melinda Ryan, Savannah, Tennessee. Humidity just about as bad as it was in Memphis today from what it looks like. Welcome to Joyce Ann Trantham. Hope I'm saying that right. And Mary Parker from Drummond's, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. Shower and thunderstorm activity throughout the rest of the evening. What's left of it will be basically on its way out. And then past about News Channel 3 at 10 and about midnight, that should do it for the chances of rainfall. By the time Todd Demers is on the air tomorrow morning with his forecast starting at 4.30 tomorrow, temperatures in some parts of the Mid-South might make the lower 60s. So it will be decently comfortable. Metro area probably not much less than the lower 70s out there. And rest of the day, sunshine with clouds in the morning, then just sunshine throughout the rest of the day. So looking good. Temperatures again in the mid to upper 80s. So warm. Not quite as humid thanks to those northerly winds coming our direction, so looking a lot better there. Severe weather threat outside of a thunderstorm or two, not seeing anything for today. And likewise, threat goes down to the south of us for tomorrow. By Thursday, the threat kind of resurges a little bit back to the west. Dry air keeps things quiet in the mid-south area as we go into the rest of the week. Matter of fact, this forecast is going to be looking a lot nicer 
over the next several days as we see little if anything showing up in the way of rainfall. Some clouds at times, a lot of sunshine, pretty warm, just below normal for this time of the year, but otherwise not seeing anything in the way of major problems. Now right on in through the holiday itself, a lot of sunshine, maybe a few more clouds for next Monday, but Labor Day for the outdoor celebrations and picnics and parades and everything that goes on around the Mid-South, that looks pretty good. Hot, yes, so keep the ice water handy. Now as we go into next week, so far things are looking pretty good all the way on through. Maybe a drop in the temperatures to the mid-80s. A little iffy on that one for right now. It's still too far in advance, but we will be keeping a very close eye on that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Either way, just below normal, that's okay for this time of the year instead of getting all blazing hot out there for right now. Tipton traffickers, welcome from Kevin Dunn. Thank you very much. And Harmontown, Mississippi, Debbie German Reeves. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Tropical Depression 6 has been kind of wandering, almost looping the loop a little bit. But in the last about 12 to 18 hours, it has gotten a little bit stronger. So it's almost a tropical storm. has to go over 39 miles per hour for that to happen. Now it looks like it's going to be staying a tropical depression for the evening hours, but could be a tropical storm by early tomorrow morning at the latest. The spaghetti model is so named, again, because it looks like spaghetti on a plate here, all in decent agreement, showing six for now, making its way up the East Coast, but not being an actual threat to the East Coast, so good news on that. Not quite the case in the Caribbean. As we look down to the south and east, Dorian has gotten a little bit stronger. It is a tropical storm, winds of about 50 miles per hour. It's moving to the west-northwest on a pretty steady path over the last several days. Nothing really has changed on this one. Looking into the future, as we go toward this weekend, again, what you should be paying attention to is this white cone right here, which means the storm could go as far north right now as Georgia or as far south as the Keys, maybe even going into the Gulf of Mexico. But by this coming Sunday, the 1st of September, this could be a problem for vacationers around Orlando, Miami, back toward Tallahassee, even as far south as Savannah. So if you're planning on traveling to Florida for the holiday coming up, this is something that could be a deal breaker, maybe even have to cancel your plans depending on what happens. Right now it looks to be a tropical storm. Could be some strengthening out there into a hurricane, but right now, again, that's kind of iffy. Either way, this is the forecast for now. This forecast cone and path will be changing over the next few days. But if you know anybody down that direction, you may want to tell them to kind of keep an eye on things just to be on the safe side out there. Okay, one more check of the forecast before we wrap things up. We've got to get things ready for News Channel 3 at 6, so stay tuned for more on that. Mid to upper 80s, plenty of sunshine, starting off a little partly cloudy and a little humid for early on Wednesday. Then just sunny skies, a lot drier out there. Still going to be warm, though, so again, the heat index will be with us. It won't be quite as powerful as what we saw just a few weeks ago, but it is still going to be hot and uncomfortable out there, mid to upper 80s for highs, and going to continue to see some pretty warm conditions out there. That'll wrap it up for this edition, the early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime at 5.40 p.m. Uh, welcome to Diana Franklin checking in from this evening. Thanks a lot for joining us for tonight. We'll take an extended look at the forecast again for the tropics as to what's going on. That'll be in our late edition. That'll be coming up on the main News Channel 3 Facebook page at about 8 o'clock tonight. So again, in-depth analysis of what's going on with the forecast and a look at what may be happening in the near future on that. Plus, how much time is left until autumn? A little bit more than we're comfortable admitting, but again, it is on its way less than a month ago, so we'll talk more about that coming up again a little bit later on. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you want to share on here that you didn't get into the comments section, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a line on my social media pages or direct to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. That'll do it for tonight's early edition. Stay tuned for more coming up about 8 o'clock tonight. And, of course, we'll have more with News Channel 3's Todd Demers bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting Wednesday at 4.30. Thanks for joining us.